Yet again I was swept into another nightmare A vision of a world consumed in fright and terror Ouroboros into Nissan flight or fight response to find the error And humanity seemed to be committed to committing the same precise error Again and again and with any given vicious act of awful terror Responded to with yet another act of unlawful vendetta Until it was impossible to remember Who was the heroic defender and who the terrible aggressor Who the noble enforcer, who the offender A spiral of vengeance, trillions of dollars spent on defense Everyone tense, no sense of calm and the only space on the fence Was blindfolded in the crossfire of either Besides firing squad in a minefield In a climate of tears and fears and no common sense But then I woke up in a panic in my treehouse mansion With my family peacefully napping in the eaves in their hammocks And I breathed more easily until I looked at the date the calendar was stating It was the day of my commencing unarmed forces training Siren sound in an ominous warning These dreams are a constant calling From an era when the deadly bombs are falling Even this minute those bombs are falling Siren sound in an ominous warning these dreams are a constant calling From an era when the deadly bombs are falling Even this minute those bombs are falling I arrived quick smart at the military station I'm reported the gate that I'm here for basic training I sign my name in and they pick a uniform to fit me to I put it on and check out the tree and earth on the insignia Then I'm lined up with about a thousand other new recruits On the parade ground in new boots as a bugle toots And a drill sergeant comes out to view the troops And instantly we snap to attention and pull a peace sign salute at ease, soldiers, says the drill sergeant. Welcome to the unarmed forces. You are here because you've signed up to thwart these most egregious enemies humanity's ever fought within the course of all its history. Do you know what they could be? Terrorists, Muslims, hippies, communists. These were some of the suggestions from the volunteers. That's enough of the comedy, said the drill sergeant. No, let's answer properly. Obviously, the two most terrible enemies are ecocide and inequality. Siren sound in an ominous warning. These dreams are a constant calling From an era when the deadly bombs are falling Even this minute those bombs are falling Siren sound in an ominous warning These dreams are a constant calling From an era when the deadly bombs are falling Even this minute those bombs are falling Ecocide and inequality, that's the exact targets Which by joining this hardened unit you will harness tactics to spar with And to combat this you will be part of the vanguard to vanquish any hunger Deprivation, lack of education on the planet's vastness And fight with every weapon we have to reverse environmental carnage Liberate any remaining slaves from the darkness Plant trees wherever we find ourselves And curate forests with the best care Give healthcare, shelter, education to the populace They used to say attack is the best form of defense But then we woke up in the present tense after the quickening of 2012 And realized that help is really the best form of defense because when we help others enough there's really no enemies left so instead of spending money on weapons and bombs we find anyone who needs help and we help them along and we make their local spot wherever they're from the very best place to possibly want to live a fully functional home with the latest renewable energy generators we have so they live in harmony with and become curators of nature and land so are you ready to commence your training and get prepped and planned yes what yes ma'am i can't hear you ma'am yes ma'am siren sound and an ominous warning these dreams are a constant calling From an era when the deadly bombs are falling Even this minute those bombs are falling Siren sound in an ominous warning These dreams are a constant calling From an era when the deadly bombs are falling Even this minute those bombs are falling Siren sound in an ominous warning these dreams are a constant calling From an era when the deadly bombs are falling Even this minute those bombs are falling Siren sound in an ominous warning These dreams are a constant calling From an era when the deadly bombs are falling Even this minute those bombs are falling Once again, I've changed the course of my life, training to fight the good fight. And every night, of course, I return home to my wife and tell her what it's like. Of course, she kind of already knows. She's a veteran of the force and remembers from several years ago. But then I still seem to be afflicted with these terrible dreams. When I get in bed and sleep, I see indelible scenes. I see Parisian streets awash with bloodshed and evil deeds. Perpetuated to take revenge for corporate imperial greed. And it's justified by select readings of medieval screeds. And after that, the victims of the attack needing to see revenge in turn. So the government responding with an immediate campaign of 
racial profiling and bombing of a state far away in a state of decay and a place whence tens of thousands of refugees already caught in the fray were attempting to flee in the first place across the sea in rickety dirigibles trying to escape from the horror with the origin of the bombs dropping wanted to shut their borders and the cycle of bombing and blowback showed no signs of stopping though all anyone ever wanted to do was kick the political can further on down the heroin brick road much like with climate change his effects combined to exacerbate the whole situation they find with no reason or rhyme and the downward spiral of violence just deteriorating all the time I woke with sweat pouring from this heinous vision And I can't shake it the next day or through basic training And when the drill sergeant's talking I can barely listen So she tells the rest of the platoon to keep up skilling in solar panel fitting And takes me to one side for a conversation What's the matter soldier? Regretting your decision? No, not at all I just keep having these visions of the world we left behind when 2012 kicked in Ah, the quickening So what are you seeing when these pre-enlightenment visions are spilling? Well last night for instance I witnessed the never-ending collision Between two sects of so-called civilization Some Criminals that attacked Paris and France have for some reason decided to bomb Syria as if dropping munitions would provide a solution to the schism. It was the essence of futility and perpetual attrition. The drill sergeant listened intently and then admitted, Well, Syria's still afflicted with a lot of serious things that need fixing. Even now, post quickening. Don't say anything, but that's very likely to be your platoon's first mission. And with that I got back into training After the sergeant speaking She helped me maintaining my attention on the lessons at hand All the skills that a soldier needs All the weapons, the tactics, the plans Emergency hospital, 3D printing, irrigation of land School provisions, sewage systems, ethical manufacturing programs Water reservoirs and sustainable construction of dams And any infrastructure that enables people to stand on their own two feet And months later with training complete It was time for our unit to ship out with the main fleet All the staggering quantities of money, resources and courageous human feats That used to be used to make the military compete and keep the poor in need and feed the greed of elite echelons And maintain divisions between nations and keep feeding the terrorist swarms And make sure that actual problems on earth were never solved Was being repurposed to the purpose of helping everyone So I went home that night and with pride told my fam it was time I was going to do my patriotic duty as a soldier And fight for the rights and fulfillment of every single man, woman and child An ecosystem that resides on the earth to thrive alongside every other tribe And in alignment with nature, the seasons, the tides I kissed them goodbye And my unit shipped out on a solar airship flight To the Mediterranean the very next night Motorcade and rotor blades that wind into the soul Searching for direction in these dreams that render all control Of all the sense and logic that was paid out as a top Another timeline where the dreams of people have been stolen Bombs pounding Sirens sounding, uranium tipped shells raining down And troops spilling out bullets as fast as sounding out Racial slurs against the people they are hounding War crimes, torture and spies astounding Amounts of dollars landing in the coffers of CEOs Counting the profit but not the bodies of innocents in coffins overcrowding Morgues and ill-equipped hospital wards Shouting, mourning resounding Wailing and victims' children vowing revenge When they grow up for this heinous flouting of law This was war in the early 2000s and before and infested my dream But I woke up on the floor of the military transport Surrounded by my fellow troops We were armed to the teeth, eager and ready to shoot As soon as we land in the territory And ground hits our boots We'll seek out hungry people And use our weapons to instantly feed them fruit and vegetables Each unit equipped with medicines and a chef Ready to fan out in the neighborhood with incredible depth, precision And provide nutritious meals to anyone who needs them This is Operation Enduring Global Freedom The never ending Terror spreading Gripping pen, we end it for a better ending. The ink is setting, sigils sending. 
A message to the ether for a better head. All of a sudden we land and hut hut the unit fans out With rapid speed following the beep of the high tech hunger scanner sound Like every team in the unit when we found families Who were in need of help we stop and assess what the damage is They may need health checks, medicines, their dwelling reconstructed Food cooked, solar panels rigged, water system functioning So we get to work immediately at rapid speed Feeding them all the while every soldier is shaking hands And greeting them in their native tongue Smiling, playing with the kids, having fun Suddenly the scanners go wild so Someone's got a gun Up jumps a young man Strapped with an AK I see the rage on his face As he aims the gun our way I remember how in my dreams Of the past ways The bullets used to spray And we'd have killed this boy With no delay And added one more death To the toll for the day But in a split second Before he commences to slay A huge blob of goo Flies in and covers his hands His gun and remains Like a big rubber ball Holding the bullets in place And suddenly special forces Commandos with goo guns Enter the fray And psychologically calm down The boy with some cups of tea the never ending, terror spreading, gripping pen we edit for a better ending. The ink is setting, sigil sending. A message to the ether for a better heading They sit there with him and listen to him through the day And he explains that his dad was killed by a bomb dropped by the UK And the special forces soldiers listen and say they understand And if that happened to them they'd probably feel the same way But things have changed now And we're so sorry for the heinous way we did things before And they tell him they like his courage Would you like to join the corps? Because there's a whole lot of people who need help in this war We can give you training and equipment for rebuilding The entire country and region and feeding the children we understand it's a big decision but your people and family around here could really use your help and assistance and the kid agreed and joined with our team we dismantled his gun and recycled each piece to make components for the hydro electric scheme and all across the country there were similar scenes we could see the effects all around taking place music and laughter filled the houses and streets scarcity was a thing of the past as with greed and we installed the tools to provide everything that people need the never ending, terror spreading, gripping pen we edit for a better ending. The ink is setting, sigil sending, a message to the ether for a better heading. The never ending, terror spreading, gripping pen we edit for a better ending. The ink is setting, sigil sending, a message to the ether for a better heading. I was missing home, but still often dreaming of the way before the quickening corporate entities were used to stealing and scheming and manipulating politics to promote greed, restricting people's rights but moving products and profits with ease. And how since the days of the East India Company, privateers have been the cause of dysfunction and violence here. So when I wake up, I'm so thankful that all amoral corporate entities have been dismantled. And I've seen great things in the months I've been here. Seen a massive improvement in the region of Syria. The country is peaceful again, and no matter the religion people have collectively decided that peace is the best decision we've been pitting our best abilities against any deprivation using every single repurposed resource and weapon to deliver medicine and reparation for several hundred years of imperial and corporatocratic interference have we had enough disorder have we had enough of borders have we had enough of border thoughts that keep our dreams in chains have we had enough of slaughter have we had enough of torture? Can we conjure up the force of thoughts and deeds to break these chains? Anyone who needed help was helped instantly And regional sea pollution was being cleaned by the Navy and Marines And the Air Force kept dropping more food and goods via drones And our 3D printers sustainably built self-sufficient homes We replanted forests and cleaned up rivers and streams We helped establish permaculture and provided organic seeds And pretty soon, with such abundance to glean The people formed a government of ideals, not a fearful regime After six months of solid work, the entire unarmed force is working round the clock To repair all the infrastructure we found and build new facilities to help the people out there was no need anymore for us to even hang around Children filled up the schools and the playgrounds Adults filled up the colleges, the offices, the parks Feeling content and proud Powerful grassroots movements to take care of any need abound So they were protected against corruption from within and without Have we had enough disorder? Have we had enough of borders? Have we had enough of border? Thoughts that keep our dreams in chains Have we had enough of slaughter? Have we had enough of Chains.
So we packed up our equipment and said goodbye and flew out And shed some tears as the music of the local bands resound And we made our way back to base having achieved one goal To now commence regular global helping patrols abroad and at home We're sending our supply drops and drones To help anyone who finds themselves in a deprived zone We let them know they're not alone, that life is full of hope We feed, clothe and shelter them all And even though we're literally trying to spend as much money as possible We're still not even coming close to what the whole colossal defense budget used to cost us all And any enemies we once may have had have crossed the wall and joined us Or we've joined them, however you want to say it The world is a much safer place and now we have time to pay attention to collectively designing ways To tackle the much more serious obstacle that lies in wait Climate change, but thanks to all the military tree planting and renewable energy movement All that stuff is already improving So for now, it's time for me to return to my family And sleep the sleep with the just in my treehouse canopy Have we had enough disorder? Have we had enough of borders? Have we had enough of border? Thoughts that keep our dreams in chains Have we had enough of slaughter? Have we had enough of torture? Have we conjure up the force of thoughts and deeds to break these chains?